Hey guys, welcome to our third video, our third series in our PBX in a flash uh, configuration setup. Uh, with this setup, we will be sending, we will be actually configuring an actual trunk from a provider. And this provider we're looking at right now is called IP Communications. Uh, they sent me an email of the trunk configurations to copy and paste inside of my trunk here. Once I copy it and paste it and hit submit at the very bottom, I noticed that I was registered. They also gave me a phone number to test with you guys as well. Uh, to get this information, feel free to give them a call uh, or send them an email. Go to their website at www.ipcoms.net. That's I-P-C-O-M-M-S dot net. They will set you up with a number and extension information. Just copy it and paste it into your PBX or any type of SIP device and make a test call and you should be ready to go. For this build here, we will be using, of course, the PBX, the uh, PBX and the flash that we already set up in the previous videos. So once I copy and paste the information, I went and checked just to see was this account registered. So far, it did tell me that it was registered, so we we're actually online to make inbound and outbound calls. I also took the liberty of setting up an ex a inbound route for any call coming in from that carrier. What well, this will this will benefit if you have many numbers that you purchase from a carrier. Uh, you just have to tell them to map all of your numbers within this one trunk, so you don't have to map them inside of your PBX. Having too much routing inside of your PBX might bog down the system. Uh, might cause any any might cause issues if the server is not up to date or a newly built server. So that's a good plus for the carrier to do most of that for you. In this case, you can actually since they're sending all of your, the traffic to you, you can actually specify the numbers that are not in that traffic to go to different routing. So instead of routing a hundred numbers, all of the numbers can route to one location, and you can you can pick any number in that within that that range and send it to the destination. So that's where in this route here any calls can come in you can set up another route to for a specific number so it will route to something different than what your other numbers are routing to. That will definitely save you some time if you're having many numbers in your PBX. Now for that let's set up the outbound routes here. And for the outbound routes I already set up an account with them as well for outbound and they this particular carrier require us to dial with the one or a country code of the number and this way I set the rule to dial or to check anybody that's calling with the one and the number going out from this server to actually match with this trunk here so you dial with the one or the number or extension any, any type of, of extension on your account it should hit this rule and send the call out you also specify a rule to automatically add the one if you don't really want to dial the one. Now for that new rule that I've set up, uh, it's a 10 digit rule and I told it to prepend the one. So if you're dialing with 11 digits, it will go out just fine. It will hit the new IPcoms trunk. If you're dialing with 10 digits, it will automatically add the one and still go out from the new IP comms trunk. You can also set this up for a seven digit dialing or any type of area code dialing. Uh, just be careful that some of these will proceed over the trunk uh, dial pattern as well because the trunk itself has dial patterns. So it definitely helps when you have multiple people inside of your PPX that's making the routing changes. Uh, you can take proceedings over the trunk or take proceedings over the actual dial, dial routes. It really depends on how you want the call to go out. Now, let's make an inbound test call since I've already set up the account. Ah, there we go. Okay, so once you pick that call like I did a minute ago, you can start having your conversation. That's pretty simple for the inbound calls. Outbound calls, we can try. We can test our two routes here. You can test with the one.
Thank you for calling IP Communications. Ah, perfect. Now let's test one more call without the one. Let's see what happens. Your call cannot be completed. Ah, so that did not go through. Something that you have to remember. Once you set this right here, you always have to submit changes. You always have to comply configuration changes. And everything that you do in this PBX, you will have to submit and reapply changes. That's very important. Let's try that call again. Thank you for calling IP. Perfect. If you see here, I dialed without the one, and I told the actual server to if you match any ten digits, add the one for me, and then send the the route the call out to the trunk, and the trunk, of course, out to the carrier. But if you do not specify anything in this option here, let's say you do twelve digit dialing or international calls from this trunk, nothing will happen. Of course, we don't have international set up for this account here, but it, the rule still applies. For the international route, let me click on this here. This international route, would, in theory, will work just fine. Idea is this, that the carrier does not need to see the 011, but you need to tell your box to specify which trunk or how you want the calls to route by using the match pattern. Based on this match pattern here, if you dial with the 011 country code and the number, it will route out of this trunk. It will route out with that caller ID, and the carrier will get the call and route the call accordingly. Of course, you gotta have you have to have a an account with them to do this with. So you might want to give them a call so that you can have international turned on to make this routing work. So we've actually tested an inbound call and we've tested an outbound call. Both way audio with no issues. Now, if you have issues when you call out, and you have issues with audio issues, like one way audio, no way audio, have issues like that, you can always click on tools here, go to SIP, asterisk, asterisk SIP settings, and be sure to set your IP address in here. Since so we're on a, a virtual box for this setup here, I don't need to put this in. I have a router that automatically changes this for me. But the first thing you might want to look into is adding your your IP address where your carrier gave you and also set specify the local network of your 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 entire network here so once it route from that network it will automatically mask your IP address going out and that should fix most of your audio issues hey guys that was just a video a quick video of how to set up an inbound and outbound route with a working trunk as opposed to just in theory or testing if you have any questions with this video please subscribe to us send us a comment be sure to send us an email as well at support at ipcoms.net or customer service at ipcoms.net or just give us a call 678-460-1475. If you have any questions, any concerns, or any type of issues that you might be having or you want to sit down and chat with us. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to uh, look for more videos that we're going to be having out very soon as opposed to also we will have videos about SIP and IX, which is another protocol for asterisks. I stand by that completely. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.